heat right now, so don't waste my time. Hi guys, me and Howard is in Gdansk in Poland this weekend. And uh, we are staying in a hotel called Almond Hotel, which is right in the back of like that direction where I'm looking. I have found out a place that is called the uh, Retro Cafe, which is, um, I've checked on my phone, it's about 16 minutes walk away from here. I've got a newspaper that I'm going to read in this cafe, so yeah, we're going. And I'm gonna try to film everything that we eat today as well for you. So you know what to eat if you ever go here to Gdansk. All right, let's go. a nice place like look around it's like sitting outdoors there are flowers here you can just watch all the people walking past uh, and we have ordered I've ordered uh, the raspberry granola with um, I'm not sure if it was like coconut milk or coconut yogurt with it Howard has ordered uh, an oatmeal with uh, what was it, with salted almonds yeah. and like caramel or marble apple. syrup apple and marble syrup that sounded so good they also do have like sandwiches that are vegan but they are out of bread at the moment and just because they're out of bread I really want the sandwich now which is very annoying but I'm sure what we've ordered is gonna be great and we're gonna have some coffee as well which I really need the caffeine you can see it in my eyes I need coffee <laughs> It seems like I forgot to turn on the sound during this take, uh, I blame the beer for that, but I can imagine what I was uh, trying to tell you was that we have found a place that is called House of Satan where we're going for lunch and that I've heard really good reviews about it and that we're very excited to go there and uh, we're waiting for an Uber to take us there. So there is no space to sit down. I guess it's just to make the best of the situation. To order anyway. And sit here. Mm. And this is, do you think that's allowed? I guess it is. It's like a super small place. And uh, the waiting time to get something to eat is like an hour. And we have to sit outside on this uh, like stone thingy. And uh, yeah. We're going to wait for an hour to get our food, but it looks super great and it's like people turning up all the time to uh, like order food, but they don't have anywhere to sit, so everyone has to sit on these like stone blocks. Uh, so yeah, we're waiting and we're hoping that it's going to be worth the wait. We've got a place to sit and eat now, indoors. Nice, right? And it's like the best place as well. I'm literally 
is so full right now that I can't move away from here. That season schnitzel is like so good and with all the stuff that goes with as well. Beetroot, gherkin, different sauces. I think it was like some sauerkraut thingy there, cauliflower. Yeah. I'm zoomed out definitely and look at him, I'll show you. Huh? I could definitely have a nap. I'm still like so zoomed out from eating all that food. So we found a park that is not far from the house of Satan. And I just had a nap lying down here on this newspaper. <laughs> and uh, Howard also had a nap, actually. We both did. Are you zoomed out still as well? I will be. Well, I'm feeling better, but those portions were seriously huge. It was very great. good though. It was very good, yeah. Yeah, um, a lot of flavors. The Satan schnitzel was fucking great. Yeah, I think it was very like Polish food as well, so that was good. For the price as well, it was what, like 28 groszki, however you say the Polish thing, which for in Sweden was about, I guess it's about like 70, 80 crowns. Yeah, which is pretty that's cheap. very good. But when and in England, that's probably about six or seven pounds for a yeah, dish. Yeah, that's, that was huge, huge That's plate. really good. And uh, once you've uh, had, uh, when you're in the food coma, you can go to this park if you want, if you come here. I think we might just go back to our hotel and uh, like have uh, like a swim in the pool that's downstairs in the basement there or something like that. Look, that's the best with staying in a nice hotel. That when you come back to your room, oh my god, look at the bed as well. You made all the beds. Yeah. As you know, if you have seen any of uh, my previous travel videos, me and Howard always stay like in an uh, Airbnb normally. Uh, but uh, it's actually really nice to sometimes stay in a, like a nice hotel as we're doing this time. We're actually staying in a spa hotel, which is extra super nice. Um, because when you stay in a hotel, you know, you come back after a day and the bed is made. They have restocked these things, you know, some nice water. Everything is nice and clean. We have like the budget room, but it still is like, look here. Such a nice garden outdoors. And the same, I'm assuming, it's in the toilet. Yeah, all like nice fresh towels, you know, all nice and clean and big nice shower. I definitely do prefer the Airbnb because you get to see more of the city that way and you get to experience like the real life in a city or in a place. But sometimes it's really nice to just have the comfort of a nice hotel room. Okay, the weather is me. What? Do <laughs> you think that's what I sound like, you asshole? After that nice lunch and um, the nice little nap in that um, park, we are going to have a spa treatment.
this is gonna be it for today guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I post at least one video every week I will see you guys next week bye bye everybody see you next week